Hello everyone and welcome back to my movie review show. And today I have a friend with me. How's it going? And we are going to be reviewing the movie Evil Bong. Evil Bong 1. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> now we're probably going to do this as a regular thing uh, probably the next because they have three f films out. Three of them. And we're probably going to mm -hmm. do... One wasn't enough. No. you got to get an extra couple doses of that. Yeah, so we're going to do the next <laughs> that evil bomb. The next two later on. But this is the first one. Now, um, it starts off with a nerdy kind of a, what, is this college boy yeah, looking for an apartment, and he finds... Trying to on campus, yeah. Yeah, try, and he finds this, a, what do you, would you call it? Like a, it's pretty much a studio apartment. It was basically a large studio apartment with like three dudes living there, uh, partying, <sighs> smoking a lot of weed. Just debauchery. Just general now, debauchery. Yeah, smoking a lot of weed. Now, that. basically, what now he moves in with them, and now it's funny because they just sleep all over the floor, basically a couch mm -hmm. or the floor. Now they all smoke weed, and one of the weed smokers they buy a bong from the mm -hmm. internet. Now they get it. Now from the sketchy ass rabbit, his name is Rabbit. Sketchy ass like UPS man. <laughs> delivers this package. Uh, mm -hmm. Now he gets there, delivers it. They smoke from it, but not the nerd. No, uh, he's he's trying to keep a straight edge for a little while. Yeah, and so, uh, I believe they comment on the fact that they really needed a killer bong. Yes, that's the one thing their lives were missing. So that was a good point. Yes, it's like they the, got that, the one and it's thing. like a it's an ominous foreshadowing to the future. That was a good. That really was a good line, dude. It was really funny, and yes. now. They all smoke from it, except for the nerd. And they, they you slowly, the bong slowly starts to form a face mm -hmm. on it, and it starts to give it power. She starts should, talking. Should we give a little background on the evil bong, actually? Uh, we have, there's no background on it yet, so we'll just wait. Okay. Uh, now, all we know is that she has this, like, voice, like a... They bought the bong from South America, and they, she has a voice like a... She, it's New Orleans voodoo <laughs> yeah, witch she's, she's chick. Yeah, voodoo priestess. Yeah, yeah. Something that's, like that. That's all really no, but they smoke from it, and one by one they mm -hmm. slowly start to go in this sleep coma mm -hmm. and get sucked into this dimension. It's not your normal high. <laughs> no. <laughs> it actually sucks you into a dimension, a dimension that's filled with strippers. Strippers. And basically what happens, They uh, the strippers come on, little lap dance or whatever they're yeah. going to do. Got and the then basically body parts turn into different uh, evil like teeth, uh, sharp else? mouth or uh, lips or yes something just said just like bites and it devours yeah, body it devours. parts it basically destroys you. Now one by one they slowly start dying off and like the nerd doesn't know what's going on, mm -hmm. so he decides to take a ball hit and lo and behold someone shows up but Tommy, Tommy Chong. Chong. Tommy Chong shows up, the original mm -hmm. owner to this. Apparently his wife sold it unbeknownst to him, and he wanted it back. He has partaken of the bong in the past, I believe, as well. That's how you, yes, he has partaken of the bong, and he has survived. He's the, the only one up until now that has survived, I believe, the evil bong. Now, he's going to help this uh, nerd get his mm -hmm. friends back, but he's trying to destroy it from the outside. It just mm -hmm. can't be done. It can't be done. The so, only way to actually destroy the evil bong is to smoke from it and then destroy it cuz uh Tommy Chong he's a weak man <laughs> he is. you know evil bong he's she like, tried he doesn't want to smoke it for a second but no he realizes he he's got to do it but he goes into the dimension ready and lo and behold he has like a dozen dynamite strapped yeah he's to already he's like, strapped up <laughs> strapped he's up he's ready to go ready wait <laughs> kablamo and it's like last scene is uh, what Tommy Chong playing with some strippers and yes. like toy cars. Mm -hmm. Now this has a lot of cameos. That's like that's a pretty much a good right. movie now. Obviously Tommy Chong. Tommy Chong, which cameo. is which is very helpful if you're gonna do a stoner horror kind of movie. Very helpful, and he's on the cover. I mean, mm -hmm. that's true. <laughs> hey, but he comes in in the very end. But mm -hmm. uh, okay, now who else? Like oh wait, this is a 2006 release and it re when was it? When was it released? It was on Halloween Day. Yes. 2006. Halloween Day, 2006. Now, besides Tommy Chong, Bill mm -hmm. Mosley is in this. Now everybody all know Bill Mosley that's, as uh, uh, that's Otis. Otis. And uh, well, yeah. That's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. No, right? House of Thousand Corpses. That's House, but he was also in Texas. Also Devil's Rejects. 
but he was also like the right. crazy he was, he was a dude. crazy uh, hitchhiker on the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He's part of the family. Back in the day. Also, Tim Thomerson, yeah. uh, Toy Man, Toy Man, Jack Death. Uh, I do believe. I, s- I hope they. I think so. I think. Uh, and uh, Phil Van Dencaro. I I probably butchered that name. I'm sorry, but he's a, like he's the he's in a bunch of full moon productions. Uh, a Mi- Meridian. Meridian. Uh, just, just, just I'm just gonna throw you one out there. there. Throw one crack of Meridian out there. Um, <laughs> also puppets, full moon puppets, dude. Go like mm-hmm. obviously Ginger Dead Man's in this and all the A list elite Hollywood films. Yeah, puppets. These guys. Yeah, only They're the best. <laughs> only the best for this film. Exactly, man. And you know, <laughs> puppets and full. It's full moon. So mm-hmm. what do you expect? It's pre- so all in all, pretty good. It's a, so what do you? Th- I mean, it's uh, a stoner. Film. I mean, it's it's probably the quintessential horror stoner combination. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's. I think it was know, pretty good for like the it's, horror I mean, stoner. Like, Obviously, it's going to be cheesy and yeah, I mean, you're not and horrible much. in its own way, but it still has a definite something about it. So, yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, for a horror stoner slasher film, yeah. it's good. I mean, for I the think you would have film, to be somewhat of a stoner to fully appreciate yeah. it, honestly. Like the first film doesn't have much to it, but it's not mm-hmm. supposed to be much. But it had like cameos of Tommy Chong. It was worth it. It's worth it to watch. If you got a couple hours to burn, it gets better. It gets yeah. better. So, but yeah, but that's about it. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, me and Em, we're going to be signing off here. We're going to see you again here soon with the second one. Thank you again. Yes. Yes. Peace.